Recently, there's been a revolution in the treatment of hepatitis C. Five years ago, patients were treated with a combination of peginterferon and ribavirin for one year. It cost 25,000 euros, and it was very difficult for the patient as interferon has multiple side effects, and the cure rate was only 50%. The situation has completely changed in the last three years. We've been using new treatments, new antiviral medications. The treatment lasts 12 weeks, and 95% of patients are cured, and there are almost no side effects. My dream is that in five years, we'll be able to routinely screen patients in clinics during a regular checkup, and we'll be able to tell them then and there that they're infected with hepatitis C. We'll give them a 12-week treatment, like being given a long course of antibiotics, which will have very few side effects. Three months later, after a blood test, we'll be able to tell the patient that they're cured. And in fact, we're nearly there. The next thing we need to do is lower the cost of treatment. Currently, treatment with the new antivirals is very expensive. It costs 100,000 euros. In low-income countries, in Asia and Africa, generic treatments produced in India cost 100 times less. It costs 1,000 euros. But 1,000 euros is still a lot. Who can afford that in Africa? Which government or individual can afford that? We need to find ways to make treatment more affordable. Maybe one of the big foundations, like the Global Fund, that finances treatments for AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis, will agree to subsidize treatment for hepatitis C. We're hoping for this type of breakthrough. The long-term objective is elimination. This is possible in industrialized countries, where transmission is essentially restricted to IV drug users, who become infected when they share needles, as the virus is spread through the blood. If there were a very strong policy for the prevention and treatment of drug users, we could eliminate the virus, and therefore transmission of the virus, in so-called industrialized countries. And maybe I'm dreaming, but countries like Australia are seriously considering this type of policy. In low-income countries, where transmission mainly occurs in health facilities, through contaminated needles or during surgery, with the best preventive measures, along with more affordable treatments, we should, over time, be able to greatly reduce transmission and the circulation of the virus in the population. And why not even lead, in some regions, to elimination. <laughs>